A new type of blood test may be able to detect cancer in patients with no sign of disease. CBS 2's Kate Smith has more on the research, how it works, and how it might save lives. Joyce Ayers thought she was a healthy 74-year-old when she volunteered to give a blood sample for research. What happened next was a shock. I got a call that said, we're finding something here and we want to look at it a little bit more. Ayers was participating in a test known as liquid biopsy. Researchers in Portland, Oregon screened people with no signs of cancer as a method of early detection. After being called back for further tests, Ayers was diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma. The tests work by checking DNA fragments from tumor cells, but the question is whether this sort of screening can cut the nation's death rate from cancer. Government researchers are planning a large experiment with as many as 200,000 participants to see whether blood tests can save lives. Once we get to the point where this trial is up and running, we'll need many Americans to sign up and participate. Grail is one of the companies making the blood tests and marketing them to adults at higher risk for cancer. And if we can find these cancers at earlier stages before people have symptoms, they're they're offered many more options for effective treatment, and they're often curable. The concern is that screenings sometimes do more harm than good, bringing false positives and unnecessary costs. But for heirs, the early diagnosis means treatment is already behind her. I'm 75 and very much alive. That's a good one. I'm alive, and I'm going to stay alive for a while. Allowing her to greet her 75th birthday with joy. Kate Smith, CBS News.